Benjamin Fisher has had plenty of time for his hobbies this past year. The metal worker earned good money until the financial crisis hit. The economic downturn that followed flipped his family's life upside down. Technically, he was still employed, but his hours were drastically reduced. Other locals found themselves in the same situation. A few people who live here also work at my company. They were also put on short time. They're in the same situation as me. They were also at home with their families. We've all sorted through our files and taken care of our gardens. Come in. Lots of free time and lots of worry. The family of six is paying off their house. Fisher still owes the bank 160,000 euros. We moved in here at the end of 2004. Times were better at the company back then? Yes, that's right. That was when it was booming, and we were just starting. We always had enough to do. No one was thinking that there'd be less money or less work. To make sure they didn't lose the house, his wife Petra found a job. Benjamin Fischer now does the family's cooking. He doesn't want his concerns about money to affect the children. But his son already knows what short-time work means. Papa has very little work. Is that good or bad? Bad. Why? Because he gets less money. Short time pay is much lower than Benjamin's normal wages. The family is short about 500 euros a month. We try to save electricity to save water. It was a very long, cold winter, and we started to get worried. Luckily, our house is well insulated. But the future now seems a little brighter. Benjamin Fisher's company is noticing the improvement in the economy. There are more orders, and there's enough work for the 1,000 employees. Full-time work and full-time pay, for now at least. It's only for July right now, but you can look ahead a bit. I think it'll last a while. The Kolbus company makes specialized printing machines for books. The head of the company put nearly 400 workers on short time. Orders for the expensive equipment dried up in the downturn. From January until March of this year, our capacity was running at 70 percent of what it would be in a good year. At some points, it was even worse. At times, we really had nothing to do. How many people would you have had to fire without short time? 250. Assistance from the German government meant the company didn't have to let staff go. Kolbus received about 5 million euros for short-time workers. That's a lot of taxpayers' money. But for people who were worried about losing their jobs, it was a good investment. Short-time work saved us. If we hadn't had that, things would look much worse. The Fishers agree. They've made changes since the downturn. Petra has started working again and plans to keep her job. She now thinks having just one wage earner is too risky for a large family. In a way, you do have mixed feelings that maybe things won't be as good as they were before. We are very dependent on exports, so it kind of depends on the global market and how many people want to read books. Your house depends on the global market? You can say so, exactly. At the lowest point of the downturn, more than one and a half million people were on short time in Germany. Now it's 100,000. For now at least, Benjamin Fischer is no longer among them. Daddy.